for quite some time now, automakers have been telling us that the workhorse pickup truck is becoming more and more refined, even more car-like. So it's time to put that claim to the test with the Mitsubishi Strada GLS two-wheel drive. On looks alone, you wouldn't mistake it for anything else other than a pickup truck. For starters, you have a brash grayed out grille at the front and some chunky fender flares to complement it. If that isn't enough of a clue, it's got pretty generous ride height and of course, a pretty long bed. Overall, it's a bit of a love-hate affair, but you have to give props to Mitsubishi for injecting some style and pizzazz to what essentially is a workhorse. inside a Montero Sport before, you might notice some differences between this and its 7-seat counterpart. For starters, you don't get that flowing stack down here. Also, you get a traditional gated transmission selector. Although, you have to say, it comes pretty well equipped for a base model. It has a touchscreen with navigation and even Wi-Fi display. Also, benefiting shorter drivers like me, it comes with tilt and telescopic steering. On top of that, well, there's loads of cubby holes and as for space, it's actually not bad in here, but it could use a little more elbow and hip room. We've become familiar with the 2.4 liter MyVec Turbo Diesel from Mitsubishi. The stats say 181 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque. However, instead of an 8 speed automatic like you get into Montero Sport, this one is saddled with a 5 speed. Also, this being a two wheel drive model, power is sent to the rear wheels. So, how does this 2.4 liter MyVec fare with this 5 speed automatic transmission? Well, unlike the Montero Sport, the Strada with this configuration delivers its torque and power in one big lump rather than in a linear fashion. What that means is your power is concentrated at about the 1500 to 2000 RPM mark. Really if you go beyond 2500 RPM, you're not going to feel much of that extra boost. But of course, it, that also means it's pretty peppy off the line and pretty responsive. And of course, stopping is as important as going, so I can best describe the brakes of this Strada as, well, to be honest, pretty truck-like. And right now, as we sit in traffic, I could say that these seats are actually pretty comfortable. And with the light steering, I can maneuver in and around town with not much hassle. Really, the only thing you have to be wary of is its length. Other than that though, I'm starting to understand why people are saying this is one of the more comfortable and sort of car-like pickups to drive today. Then there's the ease of use for all the controls and it's all right in your hand and the ergonomics are just right where you want them and where you need them. As for ride, well we're driving along Edsa right now and particularly in the North Avenue part of it with impacted joints. And I do have to say that for a pickup, it rides pretty well, especially if you're seated here in the front. At the rear, you will feel the bumps, you know, just like every other pickup. Although it's not as harsh as one would expect. We're driving along pretty broken pavement right now, and I have to say that it actually rides better than some PPVs too. So did Mitsubishi succeed in making the Strada that bit more refined? Well, in some ways they do. It actually feels like a modern pickup platform vehicle. The ride is comfortable if you're seated at the front, and if you're seated at the rear, it's actually not so jittery. Wind noise is well suppressed, and the engine is surprisingly quiet when you start it up in the morning. Think of the Strada as a workhorse that you could bring every day and it won't tire you out doing so.